Now here we have a nice example of a basil flower loaded with trichomes. It has both glandular and hairy trichomes. Now the glandular trichomes are the ones that are loaded with all the goodies, the flavorful and fragrant compounds, including all the nice terpenes. Now there's the hairy trichomes that are there to uh, deter pests and control moisture loss. They look kind of cool, but they don't have all the goodies in there. Now the real goal I have is to breed a basil that has uh, less of the hairy trichomes and much more denser coverage of the globu uh, glandular trichomes, larger and denser coverage. So, which is a visual cue that you're going to have greater uh, quantity by of uh, essential oil, uh, which is you know where all the flavor and fragrance come from, and that's you know what people love basil for. So, if we can. Uh, Breed a basil with, you know, more of these trichomes, it's going to, you know, pack a bigger punch. And they say, you know, maybe why the flowers, people don't eat the flowers. Well, people do eat the flowers. The flowers, you know, are full of flavor. I say flowers and flavor. I cook with flowers myself. You know, leaves are good too, but a lot of basils, the, the flowers are loaded with flavor themselves. So uh, just on my quest to breed a trichome dense basil, and here is one step forward in that direction. So, uh, Wish you all the best and uh, happy gardening.